guys. How are you doing and how is Rotterdam treating you so far? Thank you. We're doing great. Uh, it's been it's been really fun so far. Uh, we had our first practice like two days ago and tomorrow is the second one. And yeah, we're really excited to be here. Yeah, now we're just taking chill, chill out and getting ready for tomorrow, next rehearsal. What is your goal with Eurovision? I mean, there's, I think we're a really unique band. We have our own sound mm -hmm. and we yeah. want to bring like rock music back to the mainstream. And mm -hmm. uh, definitely uh, Eurovision is just a really good PR for us as well to let everyone in the Europe know what Plan Channel is made of, basically. Yeah, yeah, and like if you think like bigger goals, of course, we we honestly we want to be the next big rock band who of you guys decided like blind channel should do eurovision who was it that said like yeah we should do the music in keopilu and maybe go to rotterdam that was you <laughs> that was, that was yeah, yeah i think it was the whole of course the whole pandemic situation we didn't know like what what should we do now like everything was cancelled our third album just came out what are we going to do and we decided that we have to do something like we have to think outside the box and do some some like crazy idea so we saw in your first rehearsal it's very high energy there's a lot of fire there's a lot of co2 jets and everything who came up with the whole staging of it what's the idea behind it and uh, how did you feel being on stage i think the thing in blind channel we always want want to like live shows to be like seen it's like really ex explosive and intensive and mm -hmm. Then we managed to like design the show with our show team and we didn't want to like make it too like theatrical or dramatic you know that we want to keep our own strength and our, our own strength is like six guys like banging their heads and being super energetic and yeah. we're really happy what we saw a couple of days ago felt really good to be back on stage as well because last time we were on stage uh of course the finish wow. uh the finish uh, competition, but mm -hmm. other than that, that was last August when we played for the audience, so it felt great to be back Yeah, on and now, now we can actually play to the audience also, mm -hmm. like, it's, <laughs> there's gonna be like 3,000, 3,500 people over yeah. there, so we are really excited about that. Yeah. And were you guys very happy with uh, your first rehearsal? The yeah, the best yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we're going downstairs, we're gonna drink some beer and we watch, the, uh, watch our show like from the screen and we will take shot by shot like what what can we do like better yeah like as uh, individuals you know what was the reaction in finland after your first rehearsal mm -hmm. as seem as we saw what our fans like wrote in our social media we heard that everybody were like yeah really pretty excited about that so yeah we're, we're not stressing about that they sent us messages and called us like like it looks amazing so we're really excited to was the whole Eurovision experience so far what you guys imagined it would be? I yeah, think. yeah, I think so. But of course, the situation mm. is so different because you have to like there are these restrictions and that kind of stuff. But yeah, the whole the whole concept is as big as we thought. Yeah, it would be. yeah, definitely. And of course, uh, like Jonas said, there's a there's a a little extra stress about the whole like testing and corona stuff so we just have to be extra careful do you already have some stuff prepared for after the contest as well yeah yeah we were actually really active while we were uh, uh quarantined before we flew here mm -hmm. so we we finished our next song while in quarantine and it's been it's been mixed at, at the moment so it's coming mm -hmm. out like later later this year so we have a we have a song coming up and we're also working on our uh fourth album which is coming out early next year and we're like we have our own we have like our studio set up here as well so if we want to record mm -hmm. something we can do that and uh, do you guys have anything to say to all the Eurovision fans out there who are going to be obviously watching the show and uh, possibly supporting and voting for you definitely like thanks for supporting like Eurovision fans are really like uh, active and uh, mm -hmm. kind so it's been it's been amazing for us as well so thanks for all the support and remember remember to vote this is some something different in this yeah. competition our yeah. song so. kitos for the interview uh, so and uh, i wish you the very best of luck um, thank you so much this is your vision thank you so thank much you. thanks for yes. this thanks guys bye bye, bye, -bye.